So you guys know the drill by now. I'm sure everyone watching this video is literally so excited. You've already demolished the like button and you're thinking, Ando, it's time. And dude, let me just tell you right now. It's time. My absolute main man, TCA Gaming, has sent me another mystery box. And dude, it's got like two of these extra things as well, which we'll crack open in just a second. I am so excited. And if you don't know who TCA Gaming is, he's literally the dude that runs the biggest Pokemon eBay store on the internet, which I'll link in the description below. And he also has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that one below as well. But he just always sends us the greatest mystery boxes of Pokemon products ever. So, we've obviously got this massive, like, brown box right here, but we also got two extra envelopes in the mail as well. These are obviously bonuses he's chucked in for us, and you know what? I want to open the bonuses first. I know, I know, I probably shouldn't be doing this, I probably should open the mystery box first, but I'm really intrigued as to, like, what's exactly going to be in here. So let's not fluff around any- OH NO WAY! YO! What the flip? Holy s- A mint condition! Pokemon Base Set 2 Sealed Theme Deck. This one's the Psych Out Theme Deck right here with original Seal and Drowsy artwork. Oh, this is how we- This is literally how you start off the video. Then we've got- Oh, a mint condition. Like, all the edges are sharp. Blackout Theme Deck right here. Oh my- This is so nostalgic. I literally remember these being sold at, like, Target and stuff. So we got the blackout theme deck as well. This is insane. I don't even think I'm gonna open these. Like they're just for the. Oh, dude! Play CD-ROM Pokemon two-player starter kit. If you don't know, this bad boy right here has that holographic Marchamp, which I'm pretty sure has the first edition logo on it as well. And the fact I've got this all sealed up in like mint condition as well. Holy smokes! This is literally how you start a TCA gaming mystery box. And then last but not least, an overgrown theme deck as well, with Ivasaur and Gyarados in the front. This is like some proper vintage theme deck goodness. And that's like literally straight off the bat. Are you serious? Just like the best-selling Game Boy game. Oh my god, this is literally referencing Game Boys. You know it's old. I love the artwork on these bad boys. Okay, four insane theme decks to start it off. What the heck is in the other mystery envelope? Don't you love how like... How we, that's literally its own video, but not with TCA Gaming. He's like, that's just literally the start of the video. So guys, I hope you put your seatbelts on. I hope you're sitting down for this. This one feels so solid, like it doesn't even bend. It feels like it's almost metal. I want to say some sort of promotional... Some sort of promotional item. What in the absolute world is this? What the flip is that? No way! Kids WB, four card promo slot, Wizards of the Coast. It's screwed shut, like bit of plastic. I'm pretty sure what this thing is exactly, right? So you've got the four Kids WB Pokemon the first movie promos, Pikachu, Dragonite, Mewtwo, and Electabuzz. So we got all four of those. And then they gave out as a promotion this wired frame. Um, you can sort of screw shut. I'm pretty sure a target in that. I've seen the promotion. And then he's gone and sent me the complete collection and they look like they're still in the original baggies and it's all sealed up. But let's put the uh, let's put the four cards to the side right here. There's more stuff in here. Like a uh, oh no way! Collector's value What I'm shaking. Vintage Collector's I literally love stuff like this. It's a collector's value guide for Pokemon cards and all American and Japanese trading cards, action flips. This is so cool! Let's have a read of it, guys. Okay, this book right here actually may be my new favorite thing in the entire world because it's like, it stays in its era. I mean, it could only really have come out when it did because the internet was around, but it wasn't like populated with heaps of information about Pokemon price in its era as well. Like, all the pricing was weird as well. And they didn't have that many Pokemon products, so they could have listed it all in a book. Check this out. Random Pokemon figurines. I mean, these are the uh, battle figurines. Then look at the value, like $6, $10 if you had a Psyduck and Golduck, Slowpoke, what's that worth? All oh, $10? Like, dude, they got action flips as well, and I'm pretty sure there's like comic books in here too. Comic book resale, six bucks if you had one of the original comics. I mean, this is random as, it's got literally everything. Oh, yep, I found it right here. So if we have a Charizard Holo back in the day, I mean, if it's first edition, 240 bucks. What a bargain, fellas, snap that one up. Unlimited, 50 bucks. Gee whiz, they're, oh, they're really going cheap. Japanese, $44. Fascinating. And they've got Charmander, $2. 
got dugong for 450. That is just incredible, bro. I'm going to read that my next like airplane flight. I don't know. I really do just get around vintage Pokemon stuff like that that I've never seen before. What the heck is this? Oh my, TCA Gaming, literally, you make my whole year. Pokemon Battle Coin Game comes with like three Battle Coins right here. Venusaur, Jolteon, and Paris. Battle with coin to coin spinning action. Then it looks like, yeah, yeah, I guess it's like Beyblades for Pokemon, but it's on some sort of disc. Dude, what the heck? This is fascinating. So we open, oh, they're golden coins. This is proper vintage stuff, man. Like, like, I, I, I can't thank you enough because it's stuff I'd never source myself, but just getting it in a mystery box, I'm so happy I have it. But the craziest part about all that is that was just extra goodies. There's still the mystery box to go. Oh, it's so heavy! This thing is literally so heavy, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if this is any different to a usual mystery box he sent us, but it really does have a lot more weight than it usually does. Oh man, I'm so excited to do a recap on all that stuff. And just put it with all the stuff in here as well, it's going to be ridiculous. But let's find out what he did. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of sealed envelopes in here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yes, unbroken bonds boosters. <laughs> I love how I get that excited over a booster I can just buy in the shops. Unbroken bonds, blister pack straight off the bat. Amazing. Got a team up blister as well. I never see these. And Forbidden Light. Do you imagine if this had the Charizard? Holy. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's literally more. Uh, oh, wow. A whole selection. We got a breakthrough one as well. Then we got a uh, break point and a team up one. Where did you get all this stuff from? And then there's like individual boosters. So we got an Evolutions booster. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, a Crimson Invasion booster. A uh, team up booster, and then another Crimson Invasion booster. Okay, so the very first thing that I see that isn't actually in one of these like padded envelopes is a tin. It's oh, uh, <coughs> oh no! Oh, what's this? It's a Tapa Coco GX seal tin, guys. What? TCA game? You literally must know Tapa Coco is one of my least favorite Pokemon's of all time. Maybe I do a giveaway with the Tapa Coco GX tin. Thanks so much for the uh, tin, I appreciate it. But like, Tapa Coco, I don't know about that one. And then it's like, all of these random sealed yellow envelopes. Another padded envelope. Another, another pallet envelope, but there's... Do you guys hear that? What in absolute Wayne's world is that? Another two yellow envelopes. We've got another boost back lying in here, a Crimson Invasion booster. And then, I'm pretty sure this is a booster box right here. So I'll get that one open in a second. And bro, look at this! A Fates Collide sealed up Froakie promo blister pack right here. Victini coin as well. I've never seen that Froakie promo card. That's amazing though, I'll take the blister pack. And then to finish off, that's all that's in the box right here. He Whoa, yo! Look at this! A giant Wizards of the Coast Articuno Moltres and Zapdos promo card. Then on the back it says not for play use because I know you guys are about to put it in your deck. Your weirdos, you're going to play with this one in competitive. Then look at this, Jumbo Charizard GX. Really, really sought after card as well. A lot of people love it. And I guess like especially with the set going out of print, those are two amazing Jumbo cards. Thank you so much, man. Okay, what a weird box. This is like so different to the usual ones and I love that. Okay, so let's start with uh, the booster box right here. Feels really solid. I don't know. I can't really feel what type of booster box it is. Let's let's get the seal of approval off. I'm thinking a X and Y or a... No, I think it's gonna be an X and Y actually. I'm just gonna make a bold prediction. It... <gasps> no! Oh, you... Oh, yes! 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 I love you TCA Gaming, Unbroken Bonds, Booster Box, plus a bonus, bonus one. Okay, literally, I, TCA Gaming, you're a legend, and I could not imagine, I literally couldn't imagine if this man is the man that provided the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Oh, that's terrifying to think about. We'll open this tomorrow. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, that's the whole box, mate. That's that's good. That's good. Okay, we can go home. Happy campers. Unbroken bonds. Now, what's in this square thingy? I'm curious. It's not sealed or anything. What the flip? Another vintage Wizards of the Coast theme deck right here. 
What a blast! Whoa! These, these all together are gonna look amazing! I think I might actually complete the entire theme deck collection. If I don't, I'll probably buy the rest. Okay, I'll put the theme deck down here with the uh, rest of them. But now, all that we've got left... All that we have left are these yellow envelopes and the padded white one. Let's do some yellow envelopes first. I've got a feeling this one's a PSA card. Just, I can sort of feel the edges around it. I mean, it could be one of those wire frames, but I reckon it's about the shape of a PSA card. Okay, get that one open. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Ooh, oh my goodness, Aunt Virginia! Gem Min 10, Japanese, first edition, Team Rocket Holo Cypher EX. No way! This is a McNasty card. That is amazing, bro. Seriously, I'm obsessed with collecting PSA cards, especially after all these mystery boxes you've sent me. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. He always provides the most unique special EX promo cards, or like, PSA graded different stuff. This is not only an EX from the old school, not only first edition, not only a Cypher, it's Gem Mint 10 and Team Rocket series. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another orange envelope. Let's find out what it is. Is it a PSA card? Yep, it's a PSA card. I saw the top of the uh, red. Let's find out what it is. I couldn't imagine. You ready? Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, what the flip? No way! This got an 8 out of 10. Pokemon Black and White Secret Rare. I remember hunting for this and finding it. Best day of my life. Blast Toys Gold Border Texture Card. Oh, the gold and the texture. This is unreal. It's almost like shiny. The Blast Toys, maybe it is shiny. It's got a green shell, so it probably is actually. Holy smoke, that's sick. Dude, the choice of like Pokemon cards you're putting in this is unreal. It's next level. All of this stuff today, I'm just in shock. The fact it's not, this literally not even over yet is unreal. Thank you so much for that one. Obsessed with PSA cards now, it's official. Um, I think we've got one more PSA in this one. I can sort of tell by the size of the envelopes now. So let's open up this one. Okay, here we go, another one, here we go. What's it gonna be? Three, two, one. Oh, yo! Sit down, sit down, it's a first edition 1999 Jungle Vile Plume Holo card. So I got like a 9 out of 10, which would have been so frustrating, I couldn't only imagine. Um, because you'd be like so close to getting a 10 out of 10, you'd be like, Ugh. To have a first edition holo like this, it's so interesting because the holo artwork on this card is so like massive compared to the Pokemon itself, which the artwork is tiny. Petal Dance with 40 times. That is a very, very amazingly nice selection of PSA cards, man. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. Like, that's incredible. Okay, so let's do uh, this right here. Don't really understand what it could be, because, I don't know, it could be booster packs, but at the same time, I don't know if it feels like that. Let's open you up. It is, it's booster packs of some kind. I can't see. What, what the flip is that? Let's bust you open, and just gonna pull it out. Oh, oh, yo! Yo, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. No! Ah, I should have known, look at this. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Tops, vintage TV animation. We literally just opened a uh, bunch of these cards yesterday in that custom boost pack video, and I was like, these would be cool to unbox. We got a vintage booster of it. It's gold with Pikachu and Ash on the front. Then, get this, get this. First edition stamp, Neo Discovery Vintage Booster. Unknowns in the background too. Neo Discovery, one of my favorite sets. Is, I literally love Neo Discovery. You're a madman. First edition. He didn't even say if that was light or heavy, so we don't know. Then, another long foil, base set two, blister pack. I've kept my long foil Gyarados as well from the other mystery box we got. So I'm like, I think, one artwork off getting the entire collection. That is actually so insane. Why? What do I say? What do I say? The selection of stuff he's putting in now is getting so tailored to what I love. I can't believe it. But the best part is I don't tell him anything. I literally, I pay him the money and say, okay, give me a mystery box. But to get this quality of stuff that I'm obsessed with, and hopefully, oh, this is a PSA card. So hopefully you guys like as well, like please demolish the like button if you love this content and support it because it's the funnest thing in the world to record. Um, yep, it's PSA card, this is good. Alright, what's it gonna be? I think it's our last one, so we've only got one. This is the only thing left to open after. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, 
one, four. Oh, it's the wrong way around. It's a Japanese card. What is that? Whoa. What the flip is that? Pokemon Japanese from Dragon Frontiers. First edition EX Latios uh, holo card. So it's a near mint. It got 8 out of 10. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, the, the artwork in the background, all the lines and stuff looks amazing. What do you guys think of that PSA card? That looks insane. Now, <laughs> that's four incredible PSA... Why is it rattling? Oh, it's the red... I think it's the red thing at the top. Let's put that to the side and open up the very last envelope. It's a padded one. What do you guys think it would be? A little squishy job right here. I need scissors. No, I don't. Finally break it all. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. I think it's boosters. I think it's boosters. What the flip? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Base set. Blast Toys booster pack right there. That's heavy. Literally a heavy base set. Blast Toys and a heavy base set Charizard. These look deeper. Why does the blue look so dark? I'm gonna do some research. Two heavy boosters, then a heavy Gym Heroes Wizards of the Coast old school booster pack right here. What on earth is that selection? You are an absolute madman. Oh my, that's like six vintage rare boosters in one box. This is a... <laughs> I can't stop thinking about this. The low-key highlight, boys. Everyone calm down, though. Everyone sit back down your seats because uh, I haven't been 100% honest. I ordered one more thing from him, and it was this right here. I said, dude, chuck in five, literally five TCA Gaming premium repacks for me. And throughout, I guess, the next two weeks, we'll open up all five of them. But let's end today's video by opening. Literally, I'm going to open this first. Make sure he hasn't sent us something weird. Yeah, this is it. Look at this. Look at this goodness. Oh, no! What is he? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I literally thought so! TCA Gaming, you could... What the fl... What the flip? No way! Seriously? TCA go... I'm cr... I'm literally have... I have a tear going down my face. Look at this. Look at this. Five premium recaps. On this premium recap right here, there's a Gym Heroes Vintage Wizards of the Coast booster. But then on this premium boot. On this premium repack right here is a PSA card, and if I push it down, it says it's a Hollow Blast toy from the base set era. Then three premium repacks. So guys, to end the video right now, we're gonna open none other than a TCA Gaming premium repack. And if you haven't seen any of the mystery boxes, if you haven't bought one of these off his eBay store before, these are basically his custom boost packs where he puts some ridiculously rare cards in because it's a premium pack. It's like the best cards it can fit. And uh, usually the final card, the rarest, where's the opening on this thing? There it is. But uh, the rarest card is usually something that I've always wanted, but I've never been able to afford or find. It's insane. Some of the coolest things ever. By the way, again, massive shout out TCA Gaming. If you ever want a mystery box, I think he does cheaper ones now, so I'll link those below. Or you want like one of these premium packs, maybe some vintage boosters, I'll link them all below. Uh, but he's just a legend, and he has a YouTube channel too. So if you want to check it out, obviously, links below. But let's get into this bad boy right here. And we start with a holographic number 11 Metapod. Metapod. Um, just had to say it in that voice, you know, that's what you gotta do when you find that card. It's a, uh, yeah, TV animation tops card right there. Very similar to the golden booster that he sent. So I really want to open up that golden booster and see a couple of these uh, tops cards. I reckon it'd be so much fun. Like getting one of those holographic ones, it would be sick. And some of them are actually worth a fair bit. Anyway, so we've got a Volcanion Prism card. Look at the blue! Sauna Blast with a hundred? That is ridiculous! Alright, so we've got a Prism Volcanion, then we got Muck and Alolan Muck GX, an absolute staple. Um, I've got so many of those ever since doing Unbroken Bonds. Then, oh my goodness! Vintage as, like this thing looks like it was solidly played. Oh, a bit of a crease up there and a scratch there, but it's all good. Hollow Jungle Snorlax. Oh my gosh! This reminds me of something I'd get out of one of those Mandarake uh, cubes that I bring back from Japan. I love it. You know what? Fantastic. Then the Full Art Shaman EX. This was out of the uh, Radiant Collection, I think it was. Then the Arceus. These are secret rares. Remember? Is it the Platinum set? At the end, there's like a bonus set where you could get a, a really, really rare Arceus with all of these swells holographic right here. Level 100 Arceus. He just chucks it in the boost back. Like, you know what? It's nothing. Here you go. And then a full up oh, Pokemon Center Lady. This is one individual pack. 
all of these are literally the best of their set and he just chucks them in. And then a 4R Bayonet GX. Oh, look at the purple. The blue outline. This is ridiculous. We've peaked. We've peaked human evolution. No, he's chucked in a sealed Mew, hasn't he? Okay, whatever's behind there, I don't really want to look. I don't want to look. So it's an ancient Mew. This right here is that Pokemon card on screen right now. They're actually reprinting it too. But then the fall. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes! TCA Gaming, you crazy man. Look at the back of this card, by the way. That's the Mew. Oh! No way! We've got this PSA graded, but it's the shiny red. Gyarados out of uh, the Neo set. This is insane. Trainer Red in his little boat. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Can we get it? Should we get down the plastic? I feel like I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it. I want to see the hollow. Look, the way that is. Oh! It's not even a holographic. It's like glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but it's literally like glitter the way that hollow shines. Dude, that's a three-star rare. Like, it's beyond a star rare. It's three stars. Holy flippin' smokes, guys. What an absolutely amazing episode. Like, he's put in so many unique things. I, I Literally, I love every single unique item that he put in here. I mean, it's probably the most diverse mystery box he's ever so far, and I love it like that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to quickly go over everything he sent in this absolutely insane mystery box. Look how much stuff's in here. So the very first uh, thing we've got right here is our value guide. I'm literally going to read this cover to cover. I find it so interesting, the uh, pricing and I don't know. It's just like pre-internet sort of stuff and I love it. And then right next to it we've got the sealed shot by like literal screw shot. Kids WB movie first stamp promos and that looks sick. I absolutely love it. I've got to find a place for it, but that, I don't know, it's just a really unique gift. Then coming down here, something I've never seen before, Pokemon Battle Coin game. It comes in like a CD-ROM case and it's got the uh, coins right there. I guess it's like Beyblades before Beyblades. Really interesting. I mean, Venusaur, Joltik, Paris. Just a really random but vintage and unique Pokemon item. As we come down here, fellas, the highlight of the box, well, hopefully it is, it's the Unbroken Bonds Boost box. I'm going to crack the open on the channel tomorrow. And guys, I couldn't even imagine if TCA Gaming is the man that found us the Rainbow Rare Charizard. That would be insane. Then right next, we'll get our Froakie Face Glide Blister. Four absolutely amazing. You guys have to leave a comment. Which PSA card is your favorite? Then we've just got an odd selection of boosters right here. Just random ones. I mean, fair enough. Hopefully a Charizard in there. Then as we come across here, one more attempt to get that sick rare Rainbow Rare Charizard and like a really good variety of different artwork blister packs. These blisters are like hardly sold in Australia anymore, so it's really interesting knowing that uh, Unbroken Bonds still has a couple left. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what this is doing here. But a tap of cocoa tin to, I don't know, just fill up the box, I guess. Like, that's all it is. It's a stocking stuffer. Uh, but you know what? I can't stay too mad because right above it, we've got a first edition Neo Discovery Booster with a base 2 long foil blister pack. Absolutely amazing stuff right there. It's all sealed in a top loader, so I won't take it out. But yeah, first edition stamp on anything Neo is ridiculous. Then right next to it are the goods. Not one, but two heavy, both of them are heavy, base set boosters. And the two most valuable artworks, Blastoise and Charizard. And we'll quickly duck down here because we do have a Gym Heroes booster with uh, Erica on the front. Stock standard, amazing set. When I crack it open, you guys see what I mean. It's beautiful. Jumbo Charizard GX out of Detective Pikachu and a Jumbo uh, Articuno Moltres and Zapdos card from Wizard of the Coast right there, which has the Do Not Play on the back, which I thought was quite amusing. Then our vintage Golden Tops booster with the TV Anime Edition. Then, of course, we've got four of these TCA Gaming repacks. And I don't know if you can see what I'm, like, sort of talking about, but there's a PSA card at the back there, which I think is a Hollow Blast Toys from Base Set. Then there's a Gym Heroes in this one, because I can tell by the back. If we compare the back right here... I think we've got a Jim Hero sneaky inside of that one, which is pretty cool. So we've got four of those bad boys. 
And then we got four vintage as Pokemon themed decks from back in the day, original artworks. And to finish it off, a two player starter set CD ROM pack from Base Set 2. But ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much finishes our entire TCA Gaming Mystery Box video. If you like it, definitely demolish the thumbs up. Check out his links in the description below for his mystery boxes, his eBay store, his YouTube channel. But most of all, Pikachu, what are you gonna do? You gotta keep on gaming. All right guys, until next time, I'll see you then.